What is up guys? How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box below. Kiss me on the monster that you made. I don't know. There's just that Jesse Reyes song. You know, um, now I'm just like you, so don't complain. Yeah, you made me do the things you like, hoping you'd stay okay. Mm, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to do a you versus them, okay? I'm going to have you over here, them over there. If you feel like the roles are reversed, Flip them and reverse them. Okay, let's get a couple of energies on your side over here. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Choices. Mm. Anxiety and emotions. Pressure. Okay, so over here on, on this side over here, whether it's yours or the other person's, but I'm going to read it as yours, okay? Um, Somebody feels very, very emotional because they feel like this other person has an option has a choice to make right and this is really causing somebody a lot of anxiety a lot of worry a lot of sadness right there's somebody here that is definitely wondering which way they should go if they should go this way if they should go that way and it feels like it's putting a lot of pressure and anxiety on somebody's energy here okay it's making somebody get all caught up in their emotions. Somebody feels like they shouldn't even be having to deal with this bullshit, okay? But there's definitely an energy of somebody that is just feeling like there's a weight on their shoulders right now because their emotions and their anxiety could be out of control because they feel like, you know, or maybe saw or maybe realized, you know, that somebody here... I has a choice to make or has other options all right now let's see for the collective's person the person that's on this collective's mind spirit what's going on over here with the collective's person spirit ancestors and guides what is going on over here oh and it flew way over there and three cards dropped on the ground I'm going to take this one here. A, ooh, attachment trapped. Mm -hmm. So they do have a karmic attachment that's attached to them, okay? And this is somebody that could, they could play with. This is somebody that they know has a weakness for them. And so they play on this person's emotions, okay? They use this person as a pawn or as a victim in their scheme, okay? And they feel very shameful about this because they do um, use somebody. There is somebody coming in between this connection. But basically, whoever's over here they use this person as a pawn, like as a victim, right? But they feel trapped. They're, there's some kind of attachment that they can't let go of when it comes to this person. They feel trapped. There's, there's, there's some kind of major attachment that they have to this person. And I feel like this person thinks that whoever you're dealing with thinks that they're playing this other person for a pawn, but really this other person is playing the person that you're dealing with as a pawn. And what's sad is whatever this other person is doing to play on your person and play on this attachment and keep them trapped over here it it it's really causing a lot of bullshit over here in this person's emotions because now they're over here thinking that their person has a choice they're choosing somebody else and it's giving anxiety they feeling pressure like they're like just trying to make it through the day to day your person can even feel feel pressured by this attachment okay and they're very very emotion emotional because they feel trapped and what's crazy is whoever you are dealing with went to use this other person as a pawn or 
or to try to play games or try to use them to hurt you or something, but it backfired. And now really this person is playing your person for a pawn. Whatever, it's like your person played right into this person's hands and fucked up something between you and this person. And now really, you know, it's your person that got played. But there is some kind of attachment there. But it still has you hurting. It still has this person over here hurting, anxious, thinking that this person has a choice or is trying to choose between them and somebody else. Let's see, though. Mm -hmm. But spirit, look, before I even motherfucking, before I even shuffled them, non-committal, not revealing freedom, vague, okay. Your person is over there and it popped over here is telling whoever this other person is that they, they're not in a relationship, they're not committal. But in all actuality, this person isn't committal to nobody, okay? They're not trying to make a choice on nobody, but they're trying to make it seem like they're, they don't, they ain't worried about anything. Let's see though, for the collective side spirit, what's going on with this choices and anxiety spirit? This choices and anxiety spirit. Yeah, because this person acts like they don't even motherfucking care. You could even found out that they had some kind of options, that they had some kind of choices, and this person acted indifferent, cold, apathetic, hand, you know, talk to the hand. They didn't want to hear that shit. They ain't even trying to give you some kind of, you know, like... Feeling like, okay, am I even an, even still in the picture here or nothing? Like, they don't even want to talk about this other person. If you try to bring it up that they have options, like, they're cold as fuck. They don't want to talk about it. Look, bottom of the deck, getting defensive as fuck. Trying to justify the situation or whatever the attachment is that they have to this other person. Really just protecting their ego. Let's see, spirit. What else? For this pressure on the collective side where their emotions, they just feel like the world's on their shoulders because of whatever's going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's like you got you. There's, an, there's a traditional energy about you where it's like, okay, you know you got to take care of responsibilities, take care of home, take care of this, take it there. You're, and, and not just that, you have very rooted values, whether you're spiritual, religious, whatever this is. Like you really try to come from a genuine, honest place. You believe in karma. You, be, you don't believe in fucking people over because you know eventually that's going to come back. You know what I'm saying? And right now you do feel all of these emotions, but at the same time, you know that whatever you did, you came from a very good place. You know what I'm saying? So, and this person, they're not willing, they have this fixed mindset, like they just keep doing the same thing. And so spirit is like, even though you're feeling this emotions and you just feeling like the weight's all on your shoulders, like spirit is proud of you. Spirit is proud of you because you, whatever values that you had, you, you know, you held on to those. When you found out this person might have options and then they didn't even want to talk, they just kind of blew your ass off. You know what I'm saying? You valued yourself enough to say, you know what? Fuck that. Peace. And there's this energy of, yeah, like it hurts. The depression, the, the emotions are all over the place. Bossy, demanding, spoiled, rotten. Yeah, shit, you are the shit. You know that you, shit, you run shit. Hell yeah, I might be a little bratty at times, but I spoil myself. I am demanding, but I know what I want and I know what I deserve here. But let's see. Let's get over here to your per to this per other person's side that has this attachment that they were trying to play 
with this for a pawn to hurt you but in turn whoever this person is that they thought they were victimizing was really playing them and they played right into this other person's hands and this person used it to break you guys up but let's see for this attachment and trapped spirit for this it flipped on me Mm-hmm. Somebody's in the, whoever they're dealing with, like then somebody's in denial. Somebody's like refusing to let something go, even though the energy keeps contradicting itself, right? There's an energy of them like thinking that they were playing see this is where that denial comes in because they thought they were playing this other person and they were thought they were victimizing this other person and that they had this other person in their hands like butter but then this other person contradicted themselves and showed their true side and refused this person something or or dismiss this person from something and your person realized they got played and now your person is in denial like a motherfucker yeah they're in denial that they're the ones that got played it's the irony like damn well i, re I really done sat here and got played and now they they're over here in this chaotic energy overthinking worrying feeling stuck because whatever this um this other this other person they were dealing with did, did was to make it to where you and this person don't talk at all and now that this person feels just stuck and without anything what else is going on mhm mm because whoever this person is that your okay that your person was trying to play and victimize they're greedy as fuck they selfish they stingy, and they were closed off from the beginning. They didn't want your person. They didn't want your person at all. They were greedy as hell, stingy. They didn't want nothing but some of that money, okay? And so your person played on whatever was going on because it's like your person could have used this other person to hurt you before and now this other person done caught on so now they're like yeah i'm gonna let this person come over here and try to use me to hurt 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 you collective but no i'm gonna take them for everything they got and then on top of that i'm gonna motherfucking expose what they have going on so they not only not only do i take them for everything they got they lose everything they had over here too like just like a predator look praying exploiting t exploiting taking over they did that shit on purpose they 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 did that to cause nothing but turmoil why because whoever you were dealing with had played this person for a pawn way too many times and that person caught on so this time this person was out for revenge back on your person not on you on your person and so what they did is they let them try to attach themselves over here they revealed what was going on and made this person lose you they they got all they could off of this person greedy as fuck selfish did everything they could broke y'all up hoping that if they broke you up that they can get way more off of this person than what they really had mm -hmm. But the problem is, look, here your person is, what you don't see, bottom of the deck, obsessing, consuming, tormented, losing fucking control, ready to still attach to you, wanting to text you and check up on you, checking on, spending time, happiness, you are their happiness, they know you're their comfort, and they want to check up on you. They want to, in, in, in the best type of intimacy is not when you're craving somebody sexually. The best type of intimacy is when you're craving somebody's presence, right? And that's what's happening with this person. They're craving your presence. You bring them their happiness. They just want to spend time with you. So they're going to be checking up on you. And it's not just because this other person played the fuck out of them and just tried to ruin their life, break y'all up, and then bleed them dry. Nah, this person did that on purpose. Mm -hmm. And your person was in denial at first. Like, they didn't want to do me like that, but they did. 
Why? Because you did that karmic like that a thousand times and eventually it caught up to you. You know what I'm saying? So just trust and believe spirit is letting you know this person ain't got no motherfucking choices. Stop pressure, putting pressure on yourself and getting all in your emotions. Because you came from a very genuine place. You have rooted values. You believe in karma. You know about doing things the right way. Yeah, yeah. you might go off on somebody. You might talk shit. You might do, do this and that. But you was coming from a genuine place. Hell, don't feel bad. Now, this person is obsessing. Consumed by thoughts of you. Tormented. Losing motherfucking control, antisocial, don't want to be around nobody anymore right now. Hell, avoiding people, avoiding this karmic, avoiding everybody, detached. Why? Because really that karmic just got what they wanted. They got that money, they got what they could, they broke y'all up, and now whoever you're dealing with is in the most miserable space they can be in. Because, shit, you wasn't having that. They acted, when you asked about what they had going on with this other person, they acted cold. They talked to the hand. They acted like you didn't even deserve an explanation. Had you over here sad as fuck, worrying about them having choices and shit, like, where do I stand? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Over here now, this person's antisocial, probably sitting alone, drinking too motherfucking much. Shit obsessed once again holding on to you stuck in overthinking mm, look didn't i say this was you earlier with this bratty bossy demanded spoil rotten because they know you deserve that they know you deserve to be spoiled rotten they know th th those demands that you had weren't motherfucking over the top they know you deserve the best hell yeah, sometimes you can be a little bit over demanding or a little bit bossy, but goddamn, you always mother ha motherfucking have the best intentions at heart. Mm. And so that's exactly who they're thinking about. Look, spoiled, wanting to come in and pamper you, wanting to indulge, wanting to come in and coddle you and treat you like the motherfucking princess that you are and not on a motherfucking fake level. Mm -mm. they about to make somebody very motherfucking jealous they about to make somebody very very jealous because whoever this attachment was that went out their way to not only bleed them dry and take them for everything they have but to also split y'all up it didn't work it's not gonna work mm -mm. and now somebody's going to be jealous as fuck. Look right up under that unforgiving because you're going to be forgiven here and now they're going to be jealous, vindictive as fuck, revengeful because they thought that that little game that they played worked. Look, they're going to try to justify what they did, try to make amends and shit. Look, afraid, shy, they, they about to be humbled. This card literally says humbled. Whoever that is, they about to be humbled like a motherfucker. Why? Because they about to have to face the damn truth that what they tried to control, that ambition that they had to break you up, it didn't work. Mm -mm, it didn't work. It turned out making them look repulsed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Something's coming in because they coming in to spoil you like, like you deserve, to give you what, what you deserve. Because this karmic not only bled them dry and they gave and gave and gave, they also broke y'all up. And now this person sitting in that energy where it's like, I should have gave and gave and gave. Here, this is the true true queen. This is the true king. What the fuck? And this karmic's over here laughing, thinking that they got away with that bullshit. But y'all gonna pop up. Why? It's gonna end up y'all popping up just out of the blue. And this karma's going to be like, wow, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.